Hello, I'm Chief Colby Beard, Food Program Manager for the 364th ESC. Today I want to talk to you about our upcoming field feeding companies and teams. Currently we have culinary specialists in a variety of units from port operations to line haul transportation companies. Starting in fiscal year 23, we will be transitioning to field feeding company and teams. These teams will be split up and spread out throughout our geographical footprint. To include locations like Joint Base Lewis McCord, Spokane, Washington, Marysville, Washington, Vancouver, Washington, Salt Lake City, Ogden, Utah, Boise, Idaho, and Fort Harrison in Helena, Montana. I've been in the Army Reserve for over 22 years, and I'll be honest, this is the most exciting time to be involved with food service. This new focus will make cooking and serving our fellow soldiers the main focus for this unit as a combat multiplier and force provider to commanders. The old saying of the army moves on its stomach is true. Nothing is better for morale of the soldier than to have a hot meal. The key focus is to provide the right meal at the right time in the right place. So I'm a culinary specialist assigned to an engineer unit in Boise, Idaho. Now, instead of being assigned to that engineer company, you will be transferred to the field feeding team that's going to be located there in Boise. So you'll still be drilling in the same kitchen, feeding essentially the same soldiers on drill weekends, but you're going to be part of a new company where your main focus is field feeding and feeding soldiers. If you're a commander of an MP company who used to be self-sustaining with your food service operations within your own company, now you're going to have to rely on a field feeding company or team and submit your request for that support. So the flexibility of field feeding with our MKTs, assault kitchens, not only are, are those flexible utilizing the field feeding team structure, how you can break those teams off to support a variety of locations. These locations throughout the exercise that historically you weren't able to support because your company would only have one MKT, it's your location. So if you had engineers doing something else, you were doing a remote site feeding via insulated food containers. Now you're going to have the flexibility of being able to move these culinarians throughout the battlefield through, throughout the exercise. The Army needs good quality meals. It's what motivates soldiers. I can't emphasize that enough. It's the easiest way to improve morale of a soldier is through a good, hot meal. If you are passionate about food service, love cooking, and enjoy a challenge, this is a perfect opportunity for you to join our team. We have openings at all of our locations, and we're looking for motivated individuals that want to be a part of something bigger than oneself.